to my friend Jody. Hold on, I got music playing in my ear. I'm headed to my friend Jody's um, women in empowerment dinner. I think is what I'll call it. Um, I always get so nervous about going to stuff like this, but of course, when my friend Jody has something, I'm gonna definitely support her because she is just so amazing. She always pours into people she cares about and her clients, so she's just like bomb. Check her out at Jody Brim. She's like, she's just like such a a boss who loves to pour into other women so that they can really level up their game. She tells me all the time I need to level up and I am my own worst critic and I just get nervous. I don't know what it is. I don't believe in myself or something and this is like, I cannot believe that I'm saying this on this camera and that I'm gonna post this in a YouTube video. Like this is wild. But sometimes I get imposter syndrome. Like I feel like, who am I? What, what am I bringing? What do I have to offer people? What? Why would somebody wanna pay to come to one of my events? Um, so that's what stops me from doing stuff. It's crippling to uh, know that you're good at something, but to not step out and do it. And it's so weird for me to say that because I've always felt very confident in myself, but I don't know, maybe, I don't know if it's the season that I'm in or if it's certain areas that I have confidence in, but I lack in this area for some weird reason that I'm not tapping into my power. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys along and vlog tonight and um, we'll talk about it. Let's talk about it in the comments. Do you guys ever feel this way? Am I alone? I know I'm not alone, but how scary is it to even um, say that, like speak it out and tell people your true thoughts that you keep to yourself, your innermost thoughts that you keep to yourself because you don't want anybody looking at you crazy for having these thoughts and of course when people believe in you you're like how you how do people believe in me when I'm not even believing in myself like that's so crazy to me so anyway um we'll check out the rest of the video and we'll come back and check. um I want to cry the events tomorrow I'm not making clear decisions. I am stressed. I'm overwhelmed. My life is in shambles. And I just am trying to take it one day at a time. And I want to cry right now. But I don't have any emotions to cry. So that ain't not going to happen. But let's get some food. Why don't we? Deja vu. The sensation. Deja vu. The sensation you are doing something you have done before. I'm headed back to Winston. Yesterday I went and... The event wasn't yesterday, it's today. So I didn't wear the same exact outfit. I was going to, I was going to. But I said, you know what? Just change your look up, call it a day. So here we are with a lovely blazer dress and I'm gonna wear my Gucci Adidas. They're pink and green with a green Brandon Blackwood purse. So cheers to a successful drive no accidents no ticket tickets in jesus name we pray amen i will bring you guys along once i get to this event i'll show you some behind the scenes so all righty bye But there's a reason why I did this. We were talking. Do you have the story? We were talking about oh. it. Do you remember? Because I know you remember. Just tell me. I don't. <laughs> right. You were like saying something and you was like, you just went and oh. made it. Huh? About the event. About the event. I, like, no, I, was, I think we were talking about. And allowing yourself to be seen, 
and to be heard and owning your unique story and using your authentic voice. And I just love that. I felt like it was very fitting for tonight and collaborating and connecting with everyone. So I wanted to first tell you about how I believe in my values. I believe in the power of building community in rooms like these, rooms like these that you chose to show up in today. I'm so grateful. Where we get together, like-hearted, not like-minded, maybe like-minded too, but really, truly like-hearted women build community. So if there's one thing that I could request that you do tonight, the first thing is not to scroll on any Instagram or University where I celebrate motherhood and um, basically mom slay is the definition, the art of slaying motherhood. So I like to encourage moms to step out on faith and mom slay. And I have four kids and I'm just happy to be here. I came from Garner, which is oh, too yeah, funny story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a funny story. Oh gosh. Oh, yes, yes, I do. <laughs> I have a very funny story because I came last night and the lights were every oh. so dark. Oh. And I was like, where is everybody? <laughs> so yeah, she's here. But I'm here again today. I am home. I made it home. It's 11:30 p.m. I already started taking my hair out, but. Tonight was great, exactly what I needed. Filled my cup, it's time to do the work. And this message is for people, anyone who is not believing and trusting in the gifts that you have. You need to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I am the shit. I can do this. I got this. I believe in myself and I'm great at what I do. <sighs> okay, I will do a recap tomorrow. I'm tired. Okay, I'm sleepy. Peace. <laughs>